<laughs> Just like every other politician! Boner clouds. Leaping off of the ground onto your body and started beating the shit out of people. Hello, oh, oh, I'm the Flashy J.W. Evans, and welcome to the Zero Budget Diary of a Lunatic, otherwise known as the Crow's Foot Podcast. As I said before, I am your host, Flashy J.W., and I apologize for the shitty name, but crows are fucking rad, man, okay? I love me some crows. Like, whenever I see a crow, like, cawing, it just reminds me of uh, my grandmother's house back in California, where I used to live. The trees there would just be cascaded with crows upon crows, cawing back and forth. So I just think of grandma, I think of my childhood home, I think of the wrestler Sting, I think of the movie The Crow. So I have this large net of relations holding all these pleasantries together, and it's all because of crows. So I just hear them calling, I get really happy. Fuck people calling them vermin, man. They're fucking cool. The, the guys, the, the girl, whatever, the, the, the insert gender here, crows, the, they can use vending machines, man. Like, it, it's insane. They, they understand how water levels work. Like, they'll take pebbles and put them in a test tube to lift the water to get a nut. Like, they're, they're geniuses, but enough about crows. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast. This is, this is not off to a good start. M maybe, maybe if you get out some Steve and smoke a bowl, then maybe this little podcast will make a little more sense, but... <laughs> As of now, I'm, I'm apologizing if I've let you down at all. Now, this is a live podcast, you know, just rambling on about my life. Just like a diary, bro, okay? Now, you may be asking yourself, like, oh, well, why do I care about the ramblings of some silly schmuck I've never even met before? Well, like, here's the thing, man, okay, man? You, you just got... Think of a city street, okay? Like, you walk through a street in a city. Like, let's say you go to New York, you go to fucking... New York, and you, you have, like, you're walking down the street, you have, like, a hundred plus people walking away. Most of which you do not know, and the people you do know that are walking by in this crowd, you don't recognize because there's so many people in this crowd walking by. And all of those people in that crowd are entirely indifferent to any of the struggles you've experienced or gone through in your life, as, vice versa, you are indifferent to the struggles and life of all those people in the crowd. But, a thing is, is that in society, not, not just these days, in all society and ever, like, people like to look through the world through first person. They like to look at their life, because in everyone's life, you're the protagonist of your own story, and they like to look through a life like, my life is super complicated, my life is a pain in the ass, my life is hard and it sucks. And while that is true, like, it's not a thing that's reserved for spe specifically you. It's not your life that is overly complicated and a pain in the ass, it's not my life that's overcomplicated and a pain in the ass, it's life that's an overcomplicated pain in the ass. Okay, you, you got me? You know what I'm saying? Because every one of those people walking by you on the city street has an equally complicated and convoluted story to be told that few people will ever read, including you. So while you're walking through the street of a hundred strangers thinking about how you're thinking about the difficulties in your life, you're missing out on the hundreds of stories flooding past you. And granted, like, if you're walking through New York, they're probably not gonna want to tell you their life story because they got a job or some shit. But the reality is, is everyone has a complicated-ass story with twists and turns and different crucibles in it. It's not one life or one person's life that's depressing. Everyone in life is depressed at some point. Everybody has hardships. Everybody has complicated twists and turns. Everybody's lonely. Everybody ends up hating themselves sometimes. And everybody's a freak to somebody. So you just gotta... Sometimes you gotta open your eyes and buckle down and listen to some people, you know? Talk to a stranger, fucking wrap your arm around a homeless person, give him a sandwich. The guy probably needs it. He's probably a veteran or something. Like, a large percent of fucking veterans are just... I mean, a large percent of homeless people are just veterans, like, with PTSD who obviously... 
because of what they went through aren't exactly going to be a whole aren't exactly going to be able to hold down stable jobs. So that's that's the fucking world we're living in. You gotta you gotta spread your bubble or just like punch your fucking bubble and pop it. Like if you have fucking Steve on you, find a fucking thing like I don't know if you got like a thing to clean out a pipe and like take that and stab it. I don't, I don't know if that made any sense. <laughs> I have no clue. So, at my point, <laughs> and there is one, if you're still following me, man. Again, maybe Steve will make this make more sense. I don't know. Basically, you have an opportunity here to listen to some weirdo who's probably seeming like a lunatic right now, and maybe even after you understand more, will still seem like a lunatic to you, who knows, lunacy is all in perspective, you have the opportunity to know the life story and have a deep knowledge and connection with somebody you've never met. You get to open your eyes and say, hey, it's not m just my life that's complicated with highs and lows, you get to expand it, because you have some weirdo here who enjoys making videos and is willing to talk about fucking anything for 20 minutes. So, <laughs> I'm just sitting here, and that that's an easy opportunity to expand your horizons, and hopefully I can make you laugh, can make you think, you know, I want to do all those things, I want people to smile, I want people to think and get out of this godforsaken fortress people are building around themselves these days, okay, like, it's absurd, we live in 2016, that's when this is being recorded, you have... All the information in the fucking world in your hand, in your fucking pocket, on a cell phone, or you have a fucking 3DS, you can fucking use Google. Like, you have all this information on you, and no one fact-checks anything. No one looks things up. You have all this ability to gather knowledge, and everybody ignores it, okay? If you have the ability to learn about nearly anything, and to fact-check nearly anything, and you still choose to live in this fortress and not care about the world around you, that's fucking insane. Like, I can understand if you're feeling lazy because you just fucking smoke some, but there's... You should still at least, like, care. Like, you have this... It's absurd. You have this fucking magic universe in your pocket. That's crazy, man. The internet is insane. I don't even fucking know what's going on half the time. I'm fucking people memeing me in real life now. It's insane. Also, don't meme me in real life, okay? I'm really sick of seeing people mimic vines at me. That that's 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 when I'm fucking pulling out a bat or something. I got a bat over there somewhere. I think I don't know. My room's a mess right now. Like it's fucking. I got a drumstick right there. <laughs> that's I'll, I'll hit you with a drumstick. Like I'm sitting here in a room and I don't even got pants on. It's not a joke. Okay, this video, it records up to here. Okay? Capiche? No. Like, see, it records there, and doesn't record down here. And it's hot. And I want to wear this blazer because it looks good. So I'm not even wearing pants, man. That's not a joke. No pants. Does it look like I'm wearing pants? I don't think so. That's, that's the kind of guy I am, I guess. <sighs> Furthermore, mm, interesting thing. I fucking was going to a pawn shop, okay? I fucking love pawn shops. I like thrift stores. Like... Most things I own are from thrift stores. Okay, this shirt I got from a Hot Topic, and this I got from a fucking Macy's. But, uh, this, this jacket, I, okay, this, this is a bad example. I didn't get this from a thrift store either. I found this in a sack in the rafters in our fucking garage, in our garage. I found it sitting there in the rafters with a big sack of clothes, and it smelled like perfume. Uh, the pants I was wearing earlier before I decided I got hot are right here. These, these I got from a thrift store, and these are some nice pants. Though, I probably wouldn't want to wear this blazer and these pants out in public. I don't, I don't know if I'm digging the leopard print and light fucking blue pants. I don't know if I'm digging that. Uh, fucking pawn shop, and you know, me being a genius, I was looking through shit, you know, I love getting shit from pawn shops, and you can know, get shit relatively cheap. Uh, I found an old Kevin Nash WCW toy now. Kevin Nash is a wrestler. He's a pro wrestler and he's known for being incredibly drunk in all of his matches and basically uh, manipulating people and using his extensive knowledge on business and psychology to be able to both get higher in the company while only partying and goofing off with his friends, which 
while he's kind of a shithead, I, appre I appreciate him in the sense that he's he's an entertaining shithead. But basically, it's an old WCW toy, and it's from fucking 1998. Like, I like watching old shit, man, but that's weird to think about that. I was one when this was made. I was one years old when this was made. And I fucking know about this dude's career still. That's insane. Also, I'm a fucking weirdo who has this toy next to him on the goddamn futon. That, that's life right there, man, okay? It's the American dream, it's not it's just not getting all that, that money, all that cash money, and it's not seeking out opportunity. No, the American dream is sitting on a futon and rambling to some people who hopefully care. And that, that's, that's a real American dream. I just want to sit on a futon and ramble at people about life. That's that's why I fucking want. I just want to bullshit with people, have a good time, you know, that, that's what's really important. Like, one day we're all gonna be fucking dead and rotting the ground and nothing happens after that really, so... You know, got, just enjoy the time we're here. You're, we're all gonna, we're all gonna get hit with a car or something later. Like, and that'd be, that'd be insane. I'm, I'm in a house. I don't know how I'm gonna hit with a car. I don't know how it's gonna happen, man, but... Fucking flying cars just bash that window over there and just moosh me in my futon. If I get if I get crushed by a car, this futon would probably go to my would probably go to my cousin Tapani, so like at least like he's close so I can get that. Though if a car comes through and hits me, I don't I don't think I don't think the futon will survive, man. It will probably cause like I'm here and the car is going it's probably gonna I'm probably gonna smash through and crush the futon, like, unless, you know, if it's a flying car, who knows, like, we'll just go, like, and keep going. Well, then, like, he's right across the hall that way, so if it kept going, it would just smash through everything and it would fucking go through his wall. I think we'd probably miss him. Like, it would miss him because his, his bed is on this side of the room and the car would be going, and it would miss. Probably wake him up, though, and he probably wouldn't be happy about it. He'd probably blame me, fucking. Yeah, whatever, but. Anyway. So, that's fucking shit. <laughs> You're still here with me, man. Thank you. This is this is an interesting first episode. Like, I do a lot of shit on YouTube, okay? Like, if you're this is your first time watching me, and even if it isn't, then you probably don't understand how much shit I have on YouTube. Go to my channel. You can scroll down forever. I have I have a hundred over 150 videos on my channel, man. I have so much shit. <laughs> I've been on this YouTube train for like two years now, and I have so many videos. Like, and when I say YouTube train for two years, that's not even entirely accurate, okay? Like, I started this YouTube channel like maybe two years ago, and but I had a channel before that in 2011. In 2011, I had this YouTube channel, and it got deleted for excessive copyright. Because I had a show, and I was inspired by uh, the pro wrestler Zack Ryder, because he had a show called Z True Long Island Story, and I'm like, yeah, that's the fucking shit. If this guy can do it, I gotta do this shit too. It's fucking cool. And I fucking started a show called The Sharp, which stood for stupidity as a relevant purpose. Okay? Okay? Man, okay? So, basically... <coughs> basically, I had this show... But I used so many clips that were from other shit, and, like, it was absurd. I stole a lot of shit, and I got deleted for copyright shit, and so I came back with this, another channel, and eventually I deleted that channel myself, and I came back with this channel. So this channel came out two years ago, and I make a lot of videos, but a lot of them, they don't get many views. Like, I'll spend four days straight working on a music video which I'm very proud of it's a music video of uh, song Mad Hatter by uh, Melanie Martinez and I spent a uh, four fucking days straight working on that shit and I'll get and that I think has like 98 and then I'll have a video of uh, me in the bathroom doing a shitty a cappella cover of some weeb ass anime song and I'll literally just record it in like one take and I'll fucking get a uh, blow over a hundred views, which still isn't much, but it's just funny to me that I can have four days of work into a video, and I can have one day's work, and I can have like a few minutes work 
and they can get like a similar view span, if not entirely different. So it's always interesting being on YouTube and never knowing what is going to get views and what isn't. Because like even when I go by like, oh, these videos get more views than these videos, I should do these videos, the new ones of those won't get viewed. Like I do videos on pro wrestling and it will get a shit ton of views. So I'll be like, oh, I should, I should record pro wrestling stuff. And then I'll get 20 in the next one, so I don't know, man. I'm just hoping this gets views, because I, I like doing this. I like rambling on like a lunatic. And maybe you're thinking to me like, nah, man, you're normal. You're fucking, you're cool. Let's, let's fist bump through the fucking the camera, then that's more power to you. I'll fucking fist bump you back through the camera, but it'd be creepy. My arm will go through there and, like, punch you. So, careful, when you fist bump me through the camera, don't be careful, because I can't, I can't see you right now, so, like, it will go through, but then it might hit you, man, so don't, don't, like, don't, don't sit in the, like, in, right in front of your computer or phone, and I don't want to, I don't want to accidentally punch anybody, like, I'm wearing a ring, it's a Doctor Who ring I got from a Hot Topic, I just, I just don't want to, shit, I'm wearing, I'm wearing a lot of shit from Hot Topic, man, that, fuck. Jeez. I want more granola bars. I ate all of them. <laughs> I ate all of my granola bars, man. That's not good. I need more. Like, shit. Ah, fuck. If you're watching this high right now, like, if you smoke, like, weed... Like, I promised... I promised fucking Rory back there, behind the futon, that I wouldn't... That I wouldn't delve into just talking about weed. But here I am, talking about pot. So, like, if you're, if you're high right now, whatever you do, if you're buying snacks, do not... Buy Laffy Taffy, okay? Like, well, oh, it's one time. Like, I uh, like I had the munchies, man. I just had all I had in the world was this big bag of foot long, laugh sprinkled Laffy Taffy. It was Laffy Taffy, and then they shoved sprinkles in it. I don't know whose bright idea that was. But it was awful, man. So it was. <sighs> Do not, do not buy Laffy Taffy. It was the worst. And what makes it worse is I didn't like go, ugh, this is awful. No, I shoved all of that in my mouth. I ate all of it. All of it. I just kept eating it like I was an animal. I just fucking sat there, ripped open the bag, and started, okay, I was on the couch. And, you know, I was like, lay on the couch, like, ugh. Or like, you're shoving this absurd amount of Laffy Taffy and sprinkles in my mouth and eating it. And it was the worst thing ever. My tongue felt like it was dehydrated and on fire and being tased. Like, fucking, take a car back. Tongue. And that's what it felt like, man. Like, sh fucking shit. That was, that was awful. N definitely not doing that again. My couch, the couch is good, though. That was, like, the coziest couch ever. He doesn't have it anymore, but, like, that couch, beautiful. Fucking love that couch. Certainly, certainly better than old Futon over here, and this is, this is what I fucking sleep on. So, podcast is coming to an end, man. I've already run out of time. It's already cut out, it's already cut out once in this video, so I hope I can edit so that's not as obvious. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, comment. Tell me what you'd like me to talk about. Say if you like it, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at FlashyJWEvans. And until next time, doodles!